Ever wondered how cybersecurity professionals protect our data? It's a complex process, but today, we dive into the heart of it. Cybersecurity, a term that resonates with power and intrigue, is the shield that guards our digital world. It's more than just a buzzword, it's a dynamic, ever-evolving field that plays a pivotal role in safeguarding our digital lives. At the core of cybersecurity measures are what we call security controls. These are the mechanisms and procedures that are put in place to protect against threats to our data and systems. They are the backbone of any cybersecurity architecture, diligently working behind the scenes to ensure the safety of our digital assets. Just think of them as the invisible guardians, always on the lookout for potential dangers, ready to spring into action when needed. Now, we explore the different types of security controls that help keep our digital world secure. First up, we have preventive controls, the frontline defense in cybersecurity. These are the measures taken to avert potential security breaches before they occur. Imagine preventive controls as the digital equivalent of a lock on your front door, stopping unwanted guests from entering. Preventive controls work by creating a barrier against threats, aiming to prevent any damage from happening in the first place. They come in various forms, each designed to tackle different types of cyber threats. Firewalls, for instance, are like digital bouncers, allowing only authorized traffic to pass through your network. Antivirus software, on the other hand, is like a vigilant guard dog, continuously scanning your system for any signs of malicious software and neutralizing them before they can wreak havoc. These preventive measures are a crucial part of any cybersecurity strategy, yet they're not infallible. Preventive controls are vital, but they're just one piece of the puzzle. Next up, we have detective controls. Detective controls, the watchdogs of cybersecurity, always keep an eye out for trouble. They are the digital sleuths, tirelessly monitoring and analyzing systems for any signs of security breaches or policy violations. These controls act as the eyes and ears within a system, prowling for anomalies and alerting the relevant authorities when something doesn't add up. Think of them as the hidden surveillance cameras in a convenience store, always watching, always recording. Examples of detective controls include intrusion detection systems that constantly scan for unauthorized access or malicious activities, and system monitoring tools that keep a vigilant watch over system operations, detecting any abnormal behavior or deviation from established norms. Detective controls are not just about spotting problems, they're about understanding them too. They help in diagnosing incidents, providing valuable insights into the nature and extent of the security compromise. Detective controls help identify potential problems, but what happens when a breach occurs? That's where corrective controls come in. Corrective controls step in when a breach happens, setting things right again. So, what are these controls? Think of them as the cybersecurity world's firefighters, rushing in to douse the flames of a cyber attack. They come into play after an incident has occurred, with a primary focus to limit the extent of damage and restore the integrity of the system. Now how do they function? Corrective controls operate in a variety of ways. One instance could be a backup system which ensures an alternative data source is available if the primary data is compromised. Another example is a disaster recovery plan, a strategic step-by-step -step procedure designed to swiftly and systematically recover any lost data and ensure business continuity. These controls are akin to a safety net, catching any issues that slip past preventive and detective controls. Corrective controls help restore normalcy after a breach, but there's more to security controls. Let's explore deterrent controls. Deterrent controls serve as the keep out sign in the digital landscape. They are the cyber equivalent of a guard dog sign on a fence or a security camera conspicuously placed in a store. These controls don't necessarily prevent or detect threats, but they make potential attackers think twice before attempting anything malicious. Now you might wonder, how do they work? Well, one common example is a warning banner. This is a message displayed when someone attempts to access a system, reminding them that unauthorized access is prohibited and can lead to legal consequences. It's like telling intruders, we're watching and we won't hesitate to take action. Another key deterrent control is user awareness training. By educating users about potential threats and how to avoid them, we can deter many common forms of attacks. It's like training your employees to spot a shoplifter they might not be security guards, but their watchful eyes can discourage potential criminals. Deterrent controls aim to discourage potential attackers. Finally, we have compensating controls. 
Compensating controls are the safety nets in cybersecurity, ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. They're like the extra set of eyes that keep a watchful gaze over our cyber world, stepping in when other controls may not be enough. Let's imagine a scenario where someone tries to break into a secure system. The preventive controls may stop them, but what if they somehow manage to get past? Here's where compensating controls come into play. They're designed to reduce the risk of a breach even when primary security measures fail. For instance, two-factor authentication is a common compensating control. It requires users to provide two forms of identification before granting access. Another compensating control is the use of audit trails. These track users' activities within a system, making it easier to identify and stop unauthorized actions. Compensating controls are vital as they provide an extra layer of defense, ensuring a holistic defense strategy. They are the unsung heroes, continuously working behind the scenes to keep our digital world secure. So, we've journeyed through the different types of security controls, each playing a crucial role in cybersecurity. In the evolving landscape of digital threats, these controls work as our knights in shining armor. Let's take a moment to revisit them. We started with preventive controls, the fortress walls that block threats before they can cause harm. Next, we delved into detective controls, the watchful eyes that monitor and detect anomalies in our systems. We then explored corrective controls, the quick responders that fix any damage done by cyber threats. We also learned about deterrent controls, the scare tactics that dissuade would-be attackers from trying to breach our systems. Lastly, we looked at compensating controls, the safety nets that provide an extra layer of protection when primary controls might fail. Each type of control has its unique strengths, and their collective implementation creates a comprehensive cybersecurity shield. Remember, in the realm of cybersecurity, each control type plays a unique role, together creating a formidable defense against digital threats.